Hey everyone! In this chapter, we are going to talk about schematic design rules, basically how to set them up and how to check if everything is good before we jump over to the PCB stage. So, once you are finished your schematic, the software can actually run our design rules check for you automatically. But hey, if you want to be extra sure, you can totally run it manually too. Up here at the top in the design menu, we have got two options design rules and check DRC. Let's click on check DRC and boom. Down here at the bottom, a little panel pops up. From here, you can filter different types of errors, clear out the log if it's getting messy, or just hit that button to run the check again. And if you click the setting icon, it will open the design rules window. Now, the check results are split into a few levels. Fatal errors, yeah, these are the biggest ones. You can't move on until they are fixed. Errors, not quite as bad, but still you really should fix them. Warning, just a friendly, hey, maybe check this out, you can keep going if you want. Messages, purely. Informational. Nothing to worry about, but worth a quick look. Alright, let's go through some real examples. Here's a warning saying one of my nets is only connected to a single pin. If I click on it, we can see the label is on the wire, but that wire only goes to one pin. In PCB design, a net needs at least two pins to actually mean something. Otherwise, it's just floating there doing nothing. That's the one, see here. We will got a component without reference number, still showing. Normally, we'd want something like R1, C3, you know, by proper levels. And here's a floating pin. If I'm not using it, the best thing to do is slap on a no connection symbol. So, the software knows I left it like that on the purpose. Once you are cleaning up these issues, I can clear the log, run to check again, and now the only thing left is that single pin warning. If I drop in another part and connect it, yep, yeah, warning gone. And here's the cool part. In the design rule setting, you can actually choose which check you want to run. Change how strict they are, or just turn off the one you, you, can, you don't care about. And that's it. That's how you set up and run a schematic design rule check.